can run the football, that they like being physical. They enjoy that. As Bob Stoops likes to say, we run the ball now when we want to. That's right. As opposed to someone dictating when we run the ball. And that's what they're enjoying about this drive. I get the feeling that Chuck Long, the offensive coordinator, is saying, you know something? You guys deserve this one. There, that's him in the hat right there. That's, that's Kevin. Kevin Wilson. But I think that Chuck Long's saying, you know something, big guys? You deserve this. Let's keep mashing, and let's see if we can go downfield without throwing a pass and establish a dominance in this ball game. And that's exactly what they're looking to do right there. And this guy is a big reason why, Kevin Wilson. Sooners third down and two from the six. 7.53 to play in the half. Ewan Jones reaching forward. That should be good enough for the first down. Fans, do you have a question for us? Simply send an email and we'll select one question to answer a little bit later on in the game. All you have to do, send the question to TBS Big Play at AOL.com. That's TBS Big Play at AOL.com. And don't forget to include your name and where you are from. Well, now the Sooners with first and goal. Ball is on the three-yard line. Remember I predicted a pass before? I think they just run it, run it, run it, trying to get it in. 11th play of the drive. To the goal line, touchdown Oklahoma, E1 Jones. E1 Jones, 13 rushing touchdowns on the year, tied the freshman record for touchdowns held by Marcus Dupree and Buddy Lee. His second of the evening. Any touchdown that you give up hurts, but when a team drives it down the field mm -hmm. without throwing a pass, as a penalty flag comes down after the kick. With Kiwan Jones going over that left side, stretching over, and the Sooners lead it. So Kevin Wilson's offensive line has done the job. They're playing with a lot of physicality. We'll be back. It's left in the first half. Mike Leach's team, 5-1 and one at home. They average 49 points, but when they are away from SBC Jones Stadium in Lubbock, they're only 3-3, three and three, and they average only 29 points. They have not been able to put up those big numbers away from Lubbock. Right now, they need any kind of numbers. Kuva's kick, short at the 15-yard line. Taken by Meeks. Gets up to the 30-yard line, spun down, good return. TBS Big Play Saturday is brought to you by T-Mobile. Well, you look at that Oklahoma drive, 11 plays. They threw only one pass, which tells you they've kept the ball away from Cliff Kingsbury. They used up some clock. And now if you're Oklahoma with defense, you can just rush your four guys if you want. Drop into coverage. You're in good shape here. They've got 10 on the line of scrimmage. Kingsbury looking. Pass incomplete at the 38-yard line. Wes Welker, the intended receiver. But what we saw there was perfect example of what Mike Stoops and Brent Venables wanted to do. Texas Tech comes to the line. Oklahoma in one coverage. And all of a sudden, they start shifting. They bluffed just long enough and move to where they wanted to be and you see brent venables that's venables right here okay to his left or to, to his right our left that'd be mike stoops the co-defensive coordinator only one time on first down has texas tech gotten positive yards kingsbury's pass complete up to the 39 yard line big time hit by lance mitchell and torian henderson did you notice on that play the play was completed, and Torian Henderson had the ball. He's a running back. Lance Mitchell, number 10, is a linebacker, but they're not allowing Texas Tech to get turned upfield and run away from a play. They're still running parallel, and if they're running parallel, they're getting run down. See the scores on the bottom of your screen. Ernie will be with us at halftime. The Chili's halftime report. Give you update on all of the numbers. Left side. 
Dorian Henderson getting up to the 40-yard line. Lance Mitchell and Corey Klein on the stop. Here's exactly what you were talking about on that previous play. Watch Lance Mitchell, number 10. He drops into coverage and sees Torian Henderson cross his face in coverage. Henderson makes the catch, but notice he never is able to get his shoulders turned towards us. See? And, and then this time, now Lance Mitchell goes into run support. And he gets some help on the inside from number 93, Corey Klein, and they combine on the tackle. Lance Mitchell can drop in the coverage. <laughs> That's right. He can come up and strike you in the run game. We saw good linebackers last week from USC when we were in Los Angeles. Mm -hmm. Lance Mitchell is faster than all of them. <laughs> so talk about a great player. Ooh, that's called a Nats eyelash. First down, Texas Tech. You remember how impressed I was with USC's oh, linebackers yeah. because of their ability to cover downfield in their cover, too. The middle linebacker covering the middle, taking away passing lanes. Lance Mitchell does that better than anyone I've seen this year. It's like a couple of symphony conductors. <laughs> Look at all how, how can you they, read all this? They got, they got three guys. Remember, Bob Stoops made his reputation as a defensive coordinator. That's right. Three guys conducting <laughs> the orchestra of the Oklahoma defense. That's confusing. Four-man rush. Kingsbury throws underneath the coverage. Pass is complete, and again, Lance Mitchell is there, along with Pasha Jackson, Clay McGuire, the sophomore out of Crane, Texas, from that H-back spot. Did you say Pasha Jackson got on the he field? He actually got <laughs> in the field. Doesn't get on very often. We take a look at these linebackers, two juniors. Now, Teddy Lehman is a Buckus Award finalist, 90 tackles this year, Mainly, you know, because, not because he's not a great player, but he had the reputation coming in. Lance Mitchell, junior college transfer, he'll be up for it next year mm -hmm. also, along with Teddy Lehman. The reason Jackson doesn't play a lot, not against passing teams. They put an extra DB in there. Here comes Oklahoma rushing six again. Kingsbury flips it out. Penalty flag is thrown. Torian Henderson, the intended receiver, but Jimmy Wilkerson was right there. Texas Tech's hoping they get a holding call against Oklahoma. They totally smothered that play. Mike Leach and his offensive staff looking on, hoping a call goes in their direction. I think that's what they're going to get. Yes, they are. And if you're down 23 nothing, you'll take anything. You'll we'll take anything. Take a look. Now, here's Mitchell right here, number Holding. 10. See him? <laughs> See how he's got to get him? But the interesting penalty. part is the guy he's holding up. was a lineman. <laughs> <laughs> You're supposed to hold the receiver, not the big bellied guy. He's holding the lineman, and I'm not sure you can call a holding when uh. you're you locked up with a lineman like that. But, you know, it worked out. And as you said, Texas Tech's not going to give it back. But Texas Tech is in Oklahoma territory. First time tonight they've been there. Five-man rush from the backside. Kingsbury still dumps it off. Another Texas Tech first round. Torian Henderson inside the 35, down to the 33-yard line. And give credit to Texas Tech's offensive line on that play because this time what you're going to see is you're going to see a blitz coming from that side with Oklahoma. Now let's watch Texas Tech's offensive line pick it up and then underneath. Hits the running back. There's Torian Henderson right there catching the ball. No one around him. Now just keep going upfield. Don't run parallel. <laughs> keep getting right. upfield. 90 receptions on the year now for Torian Henderson. On first and 10, Kingsbury, short pass over the middle, complete. This is more vintage Texas Tech. Yeah, there's a word you used earlier, tempo. Rhythm. Mm -hmm. All right, two different words you used earlier. Now that's starting to happen for Texas Tech. Cliff Kingsbury's getting the ball, getting himself set, having time to find receivers, and he's not having to take a lot of time because they're using their quick breaking routes. That time it was just double cross on the shallow part, and on this drive, Cliff Kingsbury, those are the numbers.